But if you are that person, I ask you a favor. Please keep doing it to me. Don't do it to other people. Let me be a martyr here. Martyr me. Would you please join me in offering a moment of silence to honor the great Boogie 2988, a man so selfless, a man so righteous, that he is willing to lay down his life in order to prevent others from being trolled on the internet. We truly do not deserve this great kindness, and we are forever in his debt. So please join me in this moment of silence to honor him. But now that I think about it, it probably should be two moments of silence. One for me and one for my hooker. One for me and one for my hooker. One for me and one for my hooker. One for me and one for the hooker. One for me and one for my hooker. But what's going on guys, today we are going to be taking a look at probably one of the hottest takes you will ever hear on the internet, man. Like honestly, this has to be one of the dumbest things I think I've ever heard in my life. And yeah, I just don't know how anyone with half a brain cell could say something so stupid. But you know, here we are. Now this clip is from a Twitch stream coming from our favorite gaming influencer, Boogie2988. Now I don't really follow Boogie. I never really did. I only saw like a couple of his old France rage videos back when I was like in middle school I think so yeah I'm not really caught up on him I know there's a lot of drama going around his channel right now I watched a couple videos summarizing that stuff before making this video but I'm not gonna really be talking about that today because this clip is more than enough to make some quality ass content laughing at so yeah this should be at least mildly entertaining but for the people who don't want to watch the video I will make a long story short okay so basically boogie goes on a rant or something you know he talks about how he's a martyr, how he's gonna stop trolling forever by allowing people to just troll him instead. And then he says that the trolls, aka the people who make fun of him, upload videos criticizing him, you know, calling him out on his bullshit, you know, those people are worse than Nazis and rapists because at least Nazis and rapists stand up for something and believe what they're doing. They may be pieces of garbage, they may be pieces of shit, they may harm other people, but at least they believe what they fucking stand for. You stand for nothing. You stand for nothing. So yeah, pretty fucking hot take if I do say so myself. Now I am going to be showing the full five minute or so clip here just so I can't be accused of taking something he said out of context, but I will be speeding up the more slow parts, I guess you could say, but overall this should be at least mildly entertaining. So I think without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this amazing Twitch video. Boogie, I don't get why you get so much crap. You have hard on life as it is, especially when you have done so much good and helped so many people. P.S. I love you, no homo. Um, I think I can answer that question, um, and it's it's complicated. But I think the most important thing to remind you is that I have made more than my fair share of mistakes. I have said some stupid shit. There's no arguing that I have said some stupid and regrettable shit. So for the people who only hate me for that reason, you can stop watching now. We're done. I mean, Boogie, for someone who's been on the internet as long as you, like, that just seems really fucking naive to think, you know, the trolls and haters are just gonna leave now, you know, that they've said their piece. That's not, that's not how the internet works, buddy. They're gonna be at your neck for the next year at minimum, probably. Like, the best way to deal with them is just not to acknowledge them, which is the exact opposite of what you're doing right now, but it's kind of funny, though. If you think about it, your haters and trolls or whatever, they're actually your biggest fans because, you know, they watch every single thing you upload, they watch all your live streams, they're constantly following what you're doing on social media your life basically becomes theirs and it's really fucking pathetic if you think about it but yeah man i've got to press x to doubt that people are just gonna leave you alone out of nowhere you hate me because i said and done some stupid regrettable shit that is why a lot of people hate me i said stupid shit about the lgbtq i said stupid shit about republicans 
I've said stupid shit about liberals. I said stupid shit about groups of people that don't like the stupid shit I said. Wow, Boogie, you are quite self-aware, aren't you, dude? Because you're about to say some stupid shit about the people who don't like the stupid shit you've said. If you are one of those people, you can stop watching now. You have been taken care of. But there's also a group of people out there who f like to hate on what's popular to hate on. Your wings are redemptions, your dark side fills. Um, they just like to hate on what's popular, and recently it's become popular to hate on me. I know I'm not really one to talk in this situation because I'm not really what you would call popular online, but Wings of Redemption, TSP, and Boogie really do make great company, man, because their heyday is long gone, dude. Like, honestly, they're all in a decline in terms of their YouTube or social media careers, so they really do make great company. But I mean, dude, people are not making trolling videos on Wings of Redemption because he's some popular figure. It's because he does and says dumb shit that people like to laugh at. Same with DSP. He gets like 500 viewers in a Twitch stream. People are not making fun of him just because he's popular. No, it's because he's done stuff that people think is funny. Like, that's the only reason. It's not because they're clout chasing, which is basically what you're implying here. Which is fine, because I've said and done some stupid shit. Um, and so you got, you got those guys too. You got the sheep, for the lack of a better word. The people who are just like, oh, this is a guy I hate. I've never heard of this guy before, but if we're all hating on him, I hate him too. Don't forget, I hate him too. Thirdly, you've got a group of pearl clutchers. These people just don't like anything. They're there to be offended. They're there to be hurt. They're there to get angry. They like angry. They look for new things to be angry about. I'm not comparing myself to these people. Well, they like to be angry at Dave Chappelle. They like to be angry at, at uh, comedians. They like to be angry at YouTubers. They like to be angry at whatever there is to be angry about. Yeah, I mean, welcome to the internet, dude. It's not even just on the internet, though. You could be the nicest dude on planet fucking Earth, and there's gonna be somebody out there who fucking despises you. That's just how it goes. But why are we even talking about this? It doesn't matter. It's the internet. It's how it's gonna be. It's part of being what you would consider a public figure online. It's just something you gotta deal with. It's not about criticism. Everybody loves criticism. It's not about being critical. It's not about being... Um, and if it is about criticism for you, then that's okay. If it is about keeping things right, it's okay. You're a part of the first group I mentioned, and that's okay. You should be critical. You should argue. You should have critical thinking. You should doubt things. That's okay. I want you to do that. That's good. That's good. But if you're one of those people that are just a rage junkie, an anger junkie, a pearl clutcher, and you're looking for a new reason to be angry, a new thing to hate, uh, then, then maybe reevaluate your life, because liking things is a lot more fun than hating things. You should try it sometime. Okay, sure, yeah, there are people on the internet that love to be mad at anything, but even then, like, even if they are rageaholics or whatever the fuck, if they're mad at you for legitimate reasons, it doesn't suddenly make the criticism against you any less valid. I mean, those people are just amplifying it. Sure, they hop from controversy to controversy, get mad over it, but the reason they're getting mad in most cases is for perfectly valid reasons. Like you said, you've said some dumbass shit. Classifying them as something else does not make that criticism, you know, just get swept under the rug all of a sudden. These are the people I despise. If I'm being honest with you, these are the people I dislike. And if I look down on you and you look down on me, but I look down on you, you must be a real piece of shit if I look down on you. Would you agree, guys? If I look down on you, you must be a real fucking loser. If someone like me or Dark Side Phil or Wings of Redemption looks down on you, you must be one of the worst pieces of shit alive. Am I wrong? Oh my god, dude, I must say, logic 10 out of 10, give him a round of applause, boys, like, honestly, dude, that is the dumbest logic I think I've ever heard. So you think somebody is a piece of shit, but because they look down on someone else, that person is actually the even bigger piece of shit. Let's just use this in a situation, okay? So let's say we're talking about everyone's favorite Nazi party leader, okay? You know, killed 6 million innocent people, started a world war, he's a pretty shitty dude all around, I don't think there's any argument over that but you know what Hitler really looked down on certain people so you know what in that situation I think we should take it from Hitler dude he's already a pretty big piece of shit so obviously he would be able to recognize somebody who's an even bigger piece of shit than him I wouldn't even expect something this stupid from a five-year-old I think they could come up with a better argument Am I wrong? So this third group is a group that I look down on. This third group is a look that Wings of Redemption and Dark Side Phil. We all look down on this group of people. They are human fucking trash. And these are the people who take things out of context. They take something someone tweeted, something someone said, tries to make it look worse than it really is, for the purposes of just destroying somebody's life. 
If you are this person, then you know who you are. It might be difficult to reconcile that you are that person. But if you are that person, I ask you a favor. Please keep doing it to me. Don't do it to other people. Let me be a martyr here. Martyr me. I'm going to stay online. I'm going to stay alive as long as I can. I'm going to waste as much of your time as you can. I'm going to say as much shit and do as much shit as I can to keep your attention so you don't do it to somebody else. I'm here for you to torture me and only me. We truly don't deserve Boogie. Does his selflessness know no ends? This man is prepared to lay down his life and become a martyr in order to ensure other people don't get trolled on the internet. I mean, you just, you really can't make this shit up. Oh, man, this is so cringy, dude. I hate like this holier than thou attitude. Like I'm making a real difference here by allowing myself to get trolled. I'm making other people's lives better. When in reality, you're not. You're just salty because people are flaming you right now. I'm going to make a living letting you torture me. I'm going to be the next Dark Side Phil. I'm going to be the next Wings of Redemption. I'm going to spend every day online to keep you fucking busy so you don't do it to somebody else. Would things actually be different though? Cause that's what it seems like things are like right now. So bring it. But I want you to know, I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who, even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis, they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. What exactly does a rapist believe in? That they should be able to have sex with whoever and whenever they want? Like, what type of belief is that? And also exterminating an entire group of people, you know? That's a great idea to get behind, dude. Much better than internet trolling. They may be pieces of garbage. They may be pieces of shit. They may harm other people. But at least they believe what they fucking stand for. You stand for nothing. You stand for nothing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Nothing. Even a disgusting piece of shit rapist is better than you. Even a piece of shit racist garbage Nazi is better than you. You are the worst. And that's what I think. Well, you guys heard him, man. If you enjoy troll content on YouTube, you know, you're worse than a literal Nazi and a rapist because at least they stand for something and we don't, dude. Big ups, Liquid Richard. Shout out Sean Ranklin and shout out Lean. You know, those channels, man, they are worse than fucking Nazi. <laughs> I don't know, man. But Boogie, of course, as he typically does, backtracked from something he said. But he was actually doubling down on this for a while on Twitter. Until eventually, I guess, the backlash got to him and he eventually admitted how fucking stupid this was. But then again, I think people are a lot more honest in terms of what they initially say versus what they say after they get a fuck ton of backlash. So that's all we're going to be looking at today. But anyway, guys, make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out the video as always and for all the recent support as well and i will catch you guys next time